Hi everyone, welcome again. Now we're going to discuss about the displacement on truss. So, to find the displacement on truss, we have to make sure your truss is in the determinate classi classification. Okay, so before we start, make sure that your truss in determin de determinate class okay so find your member on this truss 1 2 3 4 5 your joint is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 joint and your reaction is 3 so using this formula member 2 G minus 3 which is 2 times 4 you minus 3 we got 8 minus 5 so we have 5 5 equal to 5 so member is equal to 2 joints minus 3 5 equal to 5 so the truss is stable and in the determinate class okay so when we got the determinate truss then we can find the displacement to find the displacement on truss we're going to use the virtual work method form a uh, concept so now first step we have to find the real system first which is the real system we're going to use a symbol of F and then we calculate the internal force of each member using method of section or method of join but we have to find the reaction first don't forget to get the reaction correctly for instance this example you have a 12 kN and 4 kN external load on truss. So, we can find the reaction first and the reaction at D and also A. After we get the reaction and then we gonna use method of joint or section to find the internal force for each member. For example, this real system, we get this answer. Okay, so let us, you all can calculate the internal force first for real system. And then after you find the internal force, then we gonna use the virtual system, which is symbol is mu. We symbol it as a mu, virtual system. And then we calculate again. We we draw again the truss and then calculate using virtual system, which is for virtual system we ignore all the external load happen in truss. For instance, this truss we have twelve kilonewton and four kilonewton on truss. The external load for virtual system system we ignore, but. what but we can but what we have to do is give back again the one kilo newton or one unit on the po on a point or join that the question needed to find deflection for instance this question they want to find a vertical displacement at joint c meaning that we have to put one unit one unit at the point C as a vertical load not horizontal because the question asks you to find the vertical displacement and then this one we we put a one unit as a vertical load at the joint C after we get after we put one unit at the joint C as a vertical, then the reaction also will be 
change so the the you have to calculate again the reaction at point A and also reaction at joint D for instance this example you get 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 at A and B and then we have to find the internal force at each member on this truss meaning it's a new internal force not like as real system we get other value for the virtual system we get another value real system and the virtual system we can we is a different different value so you have to make sure that how the real system is working on on trust and how the virtual system is happening on this trust after we get the virtual system and the real system then we draw a treble we draw a table to find the displacement so how we can get the displacement formula of displacement is total of virtual uh, sorry total of real times with virtual times with L divided by AE so this is a formula of deflection which we're gonna use on this table so you have to draw a table with have a member real system virtual system LAN A and E A and E if the E is um, homogeneous so meaning is E is equal to 1 ok for, ins for example this this example the elastic modulus E is e homogeneous so uh, everything is times with 1 now we have to find the total of this formula real system times with virtual system times with len and divided by A for each member we operate this to get the final displacement so draw a table and draw a column for real system virtual system len and A and use the formula for each member for instance at member AB real system is negative 7.5 times with mu negative 0 0.84 times with len 10 meter divided by A 200 so we have this value repeated as member AB, XC, BC, BD and also CD because we have 5 member here so we have to operate the total of these 5 member until we get the final answer here total of this formula and then divided by AE E is 200 for instance E is given 200 gigapascal and then we divide it again with 200 gigapascal and then we got vertical is 9.56 ok so this is how we find vertic uh, displacement on truss so I hope you can do this exercise and try your own and find the, uh, the, the correct answer and try the problem that he has given in this book thank you everyone see you, see you later